All right, gang, Alan D, welcome back. Uh, just a, a quick video. I want to talk about clan game rewards. I was going through earlier, of course, clan games ended last night. Well, last night for me, I was asleep. Um, and so I want to talk to you about, you know, kind of my philosophy and, and which rewards I accept, which rewards I think have better value. Uh, so like with, with my two main accounts, Warlord and Snake Eyes, I'm, these are maxed out. So I'm all just about maximizing the gems, whatever I can whatever gives you the most gems and bear trap. Uh, bear trap is a little bit different in that a bear trap is still building, um, but still mostly about gems for me here. Although I did want the, um, the, yeah, the book of hammers. So I could, I wanted to build out my, my spell factory. And that, that's for me that the book of, of building is, uh, that's good value. And I, I like to use those on items I don't want to live without, right? So like spell factor is a big one. I don't want, I, this game is hard without spells. So I, I really don't want to use it there. Um, you can use it on, it, it, you know, if you're trying to upgrade a troop really quick and you need to get that research lab upgraded fast, so you can use maybe a, a spell book or, or, or a troop book um, to, to bump up one hero, then, then I would use it there. Um, but that's that's kind of my philosophy on that. All right, so Barrett is my fourth account. This one's a little bit different, right? So Barrett's a Town Hall 12, and you can see my you see my my build philosophy at work here. I'm working on point defenses. I got you know two level one Infernos, got a level level one Eagle here. You know my idea is to keep my war weight low. Like that's that's my intent, and I'll, I'll get those eventually. The only reason I have an Eagle at all is because I had to have the Eagle to upgrade to Town Hall 12. Um, so it, it, my goal here is I'm building slow, um, and I'm storing things up, right? Storing up, I've got over a thousand league medals. And I'm, I'm just holding off on those because I'm not in any kind of rush to get to town hall 13. But when I do get to town hall 13, there are some things that I want to upgrade immediately. Like I want army camps upgraded as soon as I can. Um, I want to get that Royal champion going as soon as I can once I hit 13. I want to get the clan castle upgraded as soon as I can. And one thing, like when you when you go to upgrade this clan castle, first of all, you got to be at Town Hall 13, right? You need 16 million gold, but you can only hold 14 million. So that's where you use the hammer building. And it doesn't matter how much gold you can hold or how much in your storage is. You just use the hammer and you knock it out. So that's that's an advantage of, you know, little, it's a little trick, really. That's what it is. All right, so when it comes to what rewards am I going to select here, Typically, I'm looking for the highest gem value, or what can I use, right? What's the best value? I stay away from the loot rewards, like, you know, the gold and elixir, because I could just loot for that. I just, I'll just i farm for a couple hours if I need to, and I can get that easy. I mean, I mean especially like a million gold, that's that's nothing. A um, couple of tacks, I can find that. Especially with, with, uh, with Barrett here, I'm finding that just attacking in, in Crystal League, I'm able to, to often hit these dead bases that just get, give up a lot of loot. All right, so here's, you know, here, here's an example, right? Well, the last attack I did, 900,000 gold and almost 8,000 dark elixir. So I can get that through attacking. So for me, um, okay, the potions are worth, you can sell those for 10 gems, right? So I would generally say I take the 20 gems, but I'm going to go ahead and take the research potion just in case I need it. Because if I do need that research potion to knock a day off of my, of my research on whatever I'm working on, um, I don't want to have to buy one. All right. So I'm going to go with the, uh, the uh, resource potion because I can sell that for 10. And now I'll, I do like these builder potions. And the reason I like the builder potions, if I get all six builders working on something and I use one builder potion that takes off basically half a day, right? Speeds things up. It takes a lot, removes a half day from six builders. So that's three days worth of build time total value. Um, so I especially like to use these builder potions when I have a hero or even two heroes upgrading because what I'll do is I can sit out one war, let my heroes cook for a couple days, use a couple builder potions, and then I, they, I can have my, my heroes ready for the next war by just gemming up like 150, 200 gems to get them into the war. 
you know, I wait till, you know, let the prep day go. And then like midway through the war, I can just jam them out to finish. But I, I, I'm only able to do that because I used, you know, two, three builder potions. So, so I do like the builder potions. Um, I can only hold two at the moment though, I think. Let me double check that. Oh, where's my stockpile? Oh, wait, yep, I have no builder potions at the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all those builder potions. Um, all right, so choice here, 27,000 Dark Elixir, six wall rings, or that shovel. So this is where I look at these wall rings. I can sell one wall ring for five gems, or I can sell one shovel of obstacles for 50. So the shovel is the clear winner, right? Because six, six of those wall rings, that's 30 gems. I'll take the shovel that's worth 50 if, if I ever want to sell it. All right, and I want the hammer building because it's good to have those hammers on hand. You could buy the hammer from the trading post, but it's going to be 925 gems to buy it. That's a lot. And you can only sell it for 50, but I'll, I'll find something to use it on. Um, you know, the runes are gen generally the runes are good. I, I like to hold on to the runes when I get them. But the builder runes, uh, why? They're, they're no good to me. I don't, I don't want to use them. Yeah, you know, builder base will come around when it comes around. Okay, and because I completed 4,000 uh, challenge points with the challenges in the, in the games, I get an extra reward. I'm going to go and take the 100 gems. All right, so that's it. Really just looking for the gem value. Um, that's, that's my philosophy, guys. So, all right. Until next time, take care.